Okay, and once we're familiar with the fundamentals of custom hooks, why don't we cover a more complex example? And um, here's the challenge. In the app JSX, import zero to fetch data. So it's in the same folder, just a more complex example. And once you navigate there, remember, this is essentially a component that is fetching a GitHub user. And now let's try to set up a custom hook. So effectively, we want to move away pretty much most of the logic. So try to come up with that custom hook. And a hint, hook should return is loading is error and user. And it should take URL as a parameter. So again, if you're interested, try to set it up and once you're ready to compare the results, resume with the video. Effectively, like I mentioned, use effect quite often is a good use case for the custom hook. Notice all these lines of code. It would be nice if we could just move it to a separate file and effectively we'll have less lines of code and it's going to be easier to grasp the functionality once you come back, I don't know, in two days, three days, or I don't know, a half a year. And the way we can do that, we can set up the custom hook. So let's navigate back to the starter. I'm going to go with use and I'll set up two examples. First one is going to be use fetch person. This is going to be kind of a specific case. And then I'll show you how we can make this more generic, basically how we can have a custom hook for any data. So let's start over here. I'll say fetch person JS, and then let's create that function first. So let's go here with const use fetch and then user or person, sorry. I mean, it can also be a user, of course, correct? Then we want to set up the function body. And first, let's just take a look at our component. So we have is loading is error and user, all of these three state values. Can we move them to a custom hook? Yes, of course, because essentially what's happening here, we just set up a use effect and eventually we get back the user or, of course, if there is an error. So let's try that. First, I guess let's grab these imports and I'll right away basically cut them out. We won't use them in this file. Set it over here. Then we pretty much want to take the whole thing. Yep, it's that drastic. So I want to first take these state values, set it up over here, set up the function, and then we want to grab the use effect. This whole thing over here. Let's cut it out as well and copy and paste. Like I said, this hook is going to be looking for that URL. Now, of course, if you know that you're going to be using the same URL, you can hard code in the use fetch person. But if you want to make it more dynamic, set up the parameter. So in here, I'll say, whenever I invoke use fetch person, I'm going to be looking for that URL. And of course, in this case, it's this GitHub one. And then we're pretty much done. We just want to return all of these three values. Yes, effectively, it's that simple. Remember the use toggle in the component? What did we do? Well, we invoked it, correct? So initially, is loading is going to be true. Then we're going to invoke the use effect only after the initial render. And here we have all of this logic where we'll grab the URL which matches the parameter, we'll fetch the data. If there's an error, we'll return an error. If not, then we'll return a user. So essentially, yes, it's that simple. And here, let's just go with return. And we want to go with is loading. Again, if you want, you can return an array, but especially if I have like three values, that's definitely a good use case for a object in my opinion. Let's go here. And then we also want to return a user. And then we want to navigate back to fetch data. And essentially in here, we just want to go use fetch. For some reason, it's not importing. That's fine. Let's just pass in the URL. And remember, this one is returning three things. Is loading, is error, and if there is a user, correct? So we go here, we set it equal to. 
and then we just check for is loading same goes for is error and then we have the user and now million dollar question which one is easier to read if you have use fetch person or you have all of these lines of code and as a side note the reason why nothing worked actually i didn't export that my bad so i'm going to go here with export default and then use fetch person let's do this and then back in the fetch data of course we want to import that so i'm going to go here with use fetch and i'll cheat a little bit where i'll grab the import but i'll remove this line of code because otherwise i'm going to get the error so now everything should work again Notice we have nice loading one. If there's an error, we'll get an error. And eventually we get the user. So that's how we can set up a custom hook with more complex example. And as a side note, whenever you'll start working with React Query or other fetching libraries, the setup is going to be extremely similar. That's why I thought that it's very important for us to understand how fetching works with use effect. Of course, those libraries do way more than just this. They do caching and all kinds of cool things, but the idea is going to be the same. You're going to get some kind of custom hook from the library. That hook is going to be looking for some parameters. And of course, it depends on the library what parameters the hook is looking for. And essentially, you'll get back a bunch of useful info about the request. And you can use that info to set up conditions to access the data and all of that cool stuff.